folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don Channel. We're here on Broadbent, which was formerly Tropicana Avenue. It just automatically became Broadbent. There's a disabled motorcyclist across the street there. Looks like he's got a flat or something. And uh, in a previous video, we showed you Sam Boyd Stadium, which is directly ahead up down here. I'll show you, I'll zoom in real quick here and show you the, uh, the seats there, the red seats. That was the home of the UNLV Rebels football team, but um, ever since Allegiant Stadium was built back in 2020, they have relocated to there, and that's where they, their home games are played. Sam Boyd Stadium, I believe, is mostly for high school games. Now, it's not a full-blown college stadium either, like you see in Michigan or Ohio State or Florida or LSU. You have, um, it just looks like bleachers, and then they do have like a media press box building on one side, but that's it. And then, so Lake Las Vegas is out here to our left. They've been building that up like crazy. It had, uh, it was started back in, um, just before the recession hit in 08, Lake Las Vegas. And then it stopped, everything stopped out there. They had a casino out there that closed. So when they closed casinos, Things aren't going well. There is UNLV, where bowl season begins. And that's true because that's typically the first bowl game every year. Or at least it has been. The Las Vegas Bowl. This is Russell Road here. And this is the very eastern end of Russell Road. Because... You can't go any further. It ends right here at uh, Sam Boyd. And that's the parking lot for the stadium. And we've got a big grass field over here on our right. I don't know if this is a park or maybe it's a park. And these homes up here on our left, looking north. We're continuing southbound here on Broadbent. I wonder if anyone over here says get Broadbent. I don't know. Sorry, bad, bad attempt. Live play, it says here. The mountain up there with all the antennas on it on the left, that is Black Mountain here in Henderson. Mesa Verde, Smiling Cloud Avenue, that street sign said. Gotta love the street signs and names here. Graceful Cloud Avenue. Come back into four lanes here. South Valley Ranch here on our left. Looks like a housing development, yep. And that brings us up here to Boulder Highway, where we are going to make a left. But we better hurry because... So this is Gibson on the other side. Gibson is a major north-south artery in Las Vegas. From this point over to uh, oh, south of the 215 Beltway. So we're on Boulder Highway right now. They're building all these huge apartments over here, it looks like, on Boulder. We've got some debris in the roadway there. And that brings us now to Galleria Drive, which is the route out to Lake Las Vegas. I will take you out to Lake Las Vegas one day very soon. Today we're going to focus on central and western Henderson, but... Uh, We'll take you out to Lake Las Vegas and show that to you very soon. It's hard to get out there and walk, especially in the heat. Because you can park, but then you have a lot of walking to do. And in the heat, that's just, yeah, not something that you want to be out there doing. Got the little green light here at Galleria. So Galleria is the one that they're supposed to be expanding Hollywood Boulevard down to, but that has not happened. As we saw in an earlier video, I've seen no signs of any road construction or um, anything. No heavy equipment, earth movers, nothing like that. Over here on the left is something called Roadhouse Casino. It looks like it's all closed up now though. COVID really did a number on a lot of these casinos. And there's the sign in the median welcoming you to Henderson, indicating city limits for Henderson right here at Sunset Road.
car now reads 114 degrees Fahrenheit. We got the green light here at Sunset, so we're continuing southbound on Boulder Highway. Technically, geographically speaking, we're actually heading southeast. Boulder Highway is just a straight shot from down and uh, deep in Henderson, all the way up to Fremont Street. Uh, Boulder Highway becomes Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas, just north of Sahara, and then uh, turns into the Fremont Street experience. We've got this funky castle-looking building over here on the left. I'm not sure what that is or was. And then over here on the right you have Skyline Hotel Casino. Never been in there. Can't tell you anything about it. Boats being uh, advertised here on the right for anyone looking to go out to Lake Mead and tool around on a boat. And that brings us here to Barrett Street. Credit price for gas at this Vegas Valley Mart is $369 or $359 a gallon for uh, cash. It was up over $4 earlier this year. It must be an election year. 7-Eleven here on the right. Shout out to 7-Eleven man. 166 7-Elevens here in, in Las Vegas. Continuing southbound, electric bike sale, wow. You don't see that a whole lot. Nevada Power Sports. And then up here on the left is Joker's Wild Casino, which I believe is the location where they said they're going to eliminate that building it's called, uh, and build something called Cadence Crossing, a, um, another casino. Dottie's Casino here on the right, and Boulder's, Boulder Choppers on the right there as well. Sports betting kiosks available 24-7, it says there on Joker's Wild. As we come up here to the light at Warm Springs Road, we're going to make a right onto Warm Springs. Warm Springs is a major east-west artery here in Henderson. It goes all the way from the far east end of town here in Henderson, all the way out west to the southwestern part of town where they've been building like crazy. Now heading westbound on Warm Springs for our friends following along at home. About to curve so that we head due west. And you can see they're building up around here too. This all used to be open desert out here. But they are building this up out here too. Huge warehouse looking facility there on the left, that's new. Construction site. That's a massive facility. Towing yard over here on our right. Really windy day today when we did our Las Vegas strip view live look in at noon. It was uh, winds were out of the southwest at about 23 miles an hour. And you can see any flags, the trees are blowing. Had a good clip. Bending and folding in the wind here. There's a uh, Spirit Airlines. I call them banana boats because they're all yellow. Spirit Airlines A321, I think, up there on final to uh, Las Vegas International Airport. More warehouses here on the left, more industrial here on the right. I'm not sure if that's a concrete plant. Looks like it. Come up here to East Gate Road. East Gate. That's all industrial too, off of Eastgate. That'll take you down to uh, Auto Show Dro Drive, down where all the uh, car dealerships are. Another huge warehouse there. So this overhead is uh, overhead overpass is uh, 
US 95 slash US 93 slash Interstate 515 slash Interstate 95 or Interstate 11 correction 11 and then that brings us here to Gibson I'm gonna make a right here on the Gibson head back northbound for a moment huge CarMax here on the corner there and down probably about a mile south of us here is a uh, Auto Show Drive, and it's called that because that's where all of these uh, auto dealerships are located. And then we go back underneath Interstate 11, for brevity's sake, and then go over, actually this will take us out to uh, Boulder Highway again. City of Henderson Public Works there, maintenance facility. Cape Horn drive, that's it. A little three-wheeler there. We're going to go ahead and make a U-turn here. This is Old Gibson Road here, it's called. And more industrial. Take a look at this. They are building like crazy. Dock High Industrial Project with Yarn, it says there. Add on the overhead billboard there for uh, La Bonita. The uh, supermarket here throughout town. And then more political junk ads glittering the side of the road. Then we come back up here to Warm Springs. There's that little three-wheeler we just saw there. It's got a uh, California plate on it. Usually don't see those outside of the tourist corridor down there on the strip. But uh, there's one there. $3.99 for regular unleaded gasoline, a gallon there at that 7-Eleven across the street there. So that's like 30 cents more than that last place we saw. Squealing tires that are squat, squealing tire, I guess I should say. That rear wheel drive little three wheeler. So, this is Gibson, and these are all of the car dealerships located here, of which there are many here in Henderson. Joe's Place, 24 Hours Gaming Food Banquet, it says there on the right side. Never heard of that. There's a Buick GMC dealer there. Someday, 20 years from now, we'll look back at these videos and say, wow, look at all these old cars. There's Ford Country there with the uh, Mustang Sally's Diner located in there. I've read that uh, car sales have just hit a wall of late. Of course, the, uh, the price went up, car, car prices went up like crazy after COVID because they couldn't get this part and that part, or at least that's what we were told. And then, um, yeah, so with interest rates up around 7 8% for homes, you know that's even worse now for cars, especially for people with poor credit. heading eastbound on Auto Show Drive. You might be able to ascertain the reason they call this Auto Show Drive. See all these used cars up here. I'm gonna pull into this little Mercedes dealership, show you guys some Benzes in here. This is Mercedes Benz of Henderson. They have a green Toyota there, Tundra. They got these little, I think these are A-class Benzes, little baby Benzes. C-class used to be the baby Benz, now these guys are taking that torch. And this thing is uh, electric, I believe. So is this. 
All electric. Yeah, it says it on the windshield there. Let's get out and take a look at the price of this thing. Just out of curiosity, how much is this all electric Benz SUV? Let's see that price. $61,000, folks. So there you go. And this thing is a, that's a GLE there. This is a EQB 300, formatic, so it's four wheel drive. That's something else. We'll continue here. The electric cars are really having a problem. You just have to, your, your lifestyle has to change so much, right? Like you gotta get the, the super duper charger at home installed and that's what, a, a thousand, two thousand bucks, something like that. If you have experience with that, go ahead and drop in the comment, into the comment section. I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. We have all these sprinter vans all over the place too. $61,000 for a little electric SUV. There's a GLC 43 AMG. It's the high-end turbo. Some used ones here. We want to take a moment real quick and say thank you also very, very much for cruising with us. We really appreciate each and every single one of you. And uh, if you haven't already, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and TikTok. It helps the algorithm. And uh, smash the like button, as the, uh, the cool kids would say. Smash that like button because it does help the algorithm and uh, recommends it to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. And uh, just wanted to show off our new Vegas Dawn gear available on our shop section of YouTube. Feel free to check that out. It's the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas Strip there. And um, we have all sorts of uh, warm weather and cold weather gear in there for you. Peruse the selection. Maybe you'll see something in, something in there for yourself or your significant other. And uh, as always, thank you for joining. And always remember that it's the, on the uh, Vegas Don channel here, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks.